Hello and welcome back to another 3D ROS video. In this quick one I'll be showing you how to export textures from Substance Painter to UE4. So here I have a finished Substance Painter file I want to export. But one thing to note before creating a Substance project is when you create one you preferably want to be using the Metal Roughness template. So as long as you have all that set up to export we just go File export textures and then you can export as PBR metal roughness and what this will get you is it will get you all the different maps for base colour, AO, metal, normal, rough. However for UE4 a better option is if you go down we have Unreal Engine 4 packed. Now what this will do is if we go to output templates and we find Unreal Engine 4 packed we'll get the base colour but then we'll get occlusion roughness metallic ORM and what this will do is it will put the ambient occlusion in the red the roughness in the green and the metallic into the blue now you can do this or you can set up your own texture like I have here just so you can do things a bit differently but just to show uh, if we duplicate this instead of doing occlusion roughness metallic we can clear these channels and we can do metal and then we we'll go grayscale so metals on the red roughness is on the green so if we find roughness green and blue we we'll do ambient occlusion and now this will be a metallic roughness ambient occlusion instead MRE instead and then we can export that out and I'll show you why that's a key thing in a minute but just in case you don't want to set that up I'll just use UE4 packed as an example so if we export UE4 packed and we save it here and we select let's just say 2k and select our file type and then just export and then once that's done we can open the output directory and here we have our three texture files so what I'm just going to do is open Unreal Engine I have our model here and I'm just going to drag these three textures in so now one thing you need to know is you want to make sure that sRGB is turned off other than for the base colour now this is because it will affect the colours of our texture and we don't want this because this is basically raw values so the red which was the ambient occlusion is a black and white value the green alone is a black and white value for the roughness and then the same for the metallic and we don't want this to be affected by the sRGB colour space so we're just going to turn that off I'm just going to load up all the channels again so we can see the pack so with that turned off, we can just hit save. We also want to make sure that's turned off in the roughness. However, it should have been done the normal map rather. However, that should have been done automatically as it has came up as a roughness map, normal map, automatically. So we can just save that out. Now if we right click and create a material, I'm just going to call it M underscore tractor. Hit enter. And now if we open that up, It'll open up this editor so we can just drag our textures in shift click and drag them in now we can hook up our no our base color our normal and then for this packed map so as you can see we chose the occlusion roughness metallic so that means the occlusion I've been occlusion is the red and then as you can see the roughness is the green and the metallic is the blue. So the reason in substance earlier I said that we can switch this round so it's metal roughness ambient occlusion is just so we have a cleaner graph so we can do one by one instead of having them switch over each other. It can just be just get you a cleaner looking graph. However it doesn't matter. It depends whatever workflow you decide to use. So if we hit apply and then save, 
and we open up our level and we just assign the material to the tractor as you can see it's looking fine and dandy and looking very nice so if you have any problems just leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to them but that was the basics of exporting your textures from Substance Painter into Unreal Engine I, I hope you found this helpful uh, if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing for more modeling tutorials texturing tutorials Unreal Engine videos and more. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one.